Well, the Christmas season continues to move forward and we move faster towards Christmas Day. Uh, a lot of activities have been taking place. A lot of devotional readings have been taking place as you've listened to them. And the Gospel of John continues to tell us about the Christmas story as we look at our text for today. And it does not seem like this text is about the Christmas story, but let me explain as I read it to you how it begins to, to fit in. It introduced into this scripture passage is a character known as John, not John the disciple, but John the Baptist. And John the Baptist is introduced in this way. Here is chapter 1, verse 6 of the Gospel of John, and it says this, There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. That's a part of the Christmas prologue, that prologue in which we are introduced to Jesus, who is called the Word, uh, who is called the light of the world. This passage reminds us of the intentional purpose that we have during this Christmas season. And part of that purpose is not just to enjoy and savor the season for ourselves, not to bunker down and, and decorate a Christmas tree and just kind of be us and our family. The, the gospel of Jesus Christ coming to earth is for everyone, for everyone to believe. He is the light of the world, and already here in this passage, we are reminded to be the followers of Jesus Christ who continue to share the light. We become a reflection of that very light that Christ shines within our hearts. In other words, we are to testify to this wonderful miracle. Again, Christmas is a time to celebrate and to gather together and, and, and to be with family and friends. But it's a time to verbalize why this season is so important, not be shy about its origins and, and what makes Christmas actually Christmas or Christmas. We need to be people who continue to testify to this goodness even during Christmas season. And during this Christmas season, people are more receptive to the words and the encouragement that you would have to say to them. We have to convince and we have to continue to work this conversation in our world because we are responsible for being the light to the world. Oh, we are not the light. Christ is the light. But his light reflecting through us, his life reflecting through us should be words and, and a gospel that's on our lips constantly. John the Baptist, his function was to proclaim that Jesus was who he was. And I would challenge you and say that that's our job, not just the pastor, but those of you who have family members who need to know about Jesus. That's your gospel as well. That's your calling as well. Not just to be saved or to know salvation yourself, but to share salvation with others. May the hope of the Christmas season not just be hope for you personally. May it be something that you share. And when you share it, speak the name of Jesus. He is the light of the world. He is the hope of the world. You won't have all the answers, but Christ is the answer to everything. And it's especially the answer to the hope that people need in their lives. My friends, take some time this week to share the gospel of Christ. If you write Christmas cards, if you're the kind of person that sends out Christmas cards or emails, that many times people are emailing cards now, make sure that the, that the words that you use contain this word Jesus, that it's not just a holiday season. It's Jesus Christ has come. It's not just the, the, this, this season of, of, of love and grace. It's the season of Jesus who offers to us love and grace. Be specific with your faith. Everyone is gathering together, and honestly, many people gather for a lot of different reasons, sometimes just for some an excuse to have a party. But my friends, this party, this celebration that the world is about to enter into uh, as we go into Christmas Day, uh, this is a, an invitation that we give to everyone. And 
you are responsible to continue to keep this name of Christ present in other people's lives. Be bold. Be, be specific with your, uh, your proclamation of who Jesus is. Again, the, the Gospel of John says that we are to testify, just as John the Baptist, so that other people, what? May believe in him. May believe through you. Scripture says that people would believe that Jesus is who he say he was through John the Baptist or through you. You insert your name there. But we begin to think about this Advent season and our responsibility to get the word out, to testify to Jesus. May God continue to show you ways this week that you can speak the name of Jesus to others. And the reason for the very season that we celebrate is Christ himself. God bless you.